afternoon everyone. Uh, we are here in my home. As you can see there is my consultory. Yes. Uh, in this moment I'm going to talk to you about uh, a rule that we learn from the class of phonetic and phonology too. So the mission of this video is that uh, that we can explain you how wh what it means this rule. Okay? So it's the rule 38, as you can see, is from consonants and spellings from the book Well Set. Okay? So what does it mean this rule? This rule talks about the the meanings that could have uh, different words. Yes? Uh, one word has different meanings. You know? One meaning is the verb, other meaning is the, the adjective or the noun. So I'm going to give you some examples. As you can see, the first example is the word leaves. Yes? Leaves as a, as a, as a verb means that you are leaving a place, uh, you are leaving someone. Yes, it's the action. So, the pronunciation of the I sound that is here between these two vowels, in the verb, the pronunciation is more longer. So, it says leaves. Yes, it's the I sound with the two columns. Okay? And the leaves as a noun is referred, it's, it's not a noun, it's an adjective in this case. It refers to the leaves of a tree. You know the 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 grass, the leaves that fall from the for the tree. Uh, so the pronunciation for the leaves is is shorter. You know, is the I normal the leaves just leaves. Okay. So I now I'm going to show you in the vowel spaces how we change the sounds. So we can see that the I sound with the two columns and the I sound with normal is here in the in the front high. So what does it mean this front center back? This is the the part of the tongue that it used to produce the sound. So in this case it's used the front of the tongue and it's in the close or high. This means that is that is up, you know, it's it's, it's near to the alveolar ridge uh, behind the teeth, the teeth. Okay? So the, the organs that could work in this production of sound is the is the alveolar ridge as you can see here, the number four is the alveolar ridge, just behind the teeth. Okay, so another example is the word right. Uh, this word has two meanings too. One meaning is the verb, other meaning is the is the is the noun. So as a verb, uh, we use the schwa sound right here. Right is the schwa sound. And I said before, in the verb, the sound extends a little bit, a little more than the, that is announced. Right? So in this case, it's right. That's exactly pronunciation. And right as a noun, uh, the pronunciation of the schwa sound is more shorter, you know? So, right as a verb, it means that you are doing right something, yes? You, oof, you doing right that, you are right. And as a noun, it means that I'm right, yes? You are right. I hope you understand this clearly. Uh, and in the vowel space, we can see that the schwa sound is in the center, uh, sorry, it's in the open meat, you know? So what does it mean? What does it mean? No, I'm sorry, it's meat center. So what does it mean the center? Is this is the part of the tongue that is used in the production of sound. So uh, it's in the center, it's behind the alveolar ridge, and it's in the middle. So this middle refers that is between the teeth. It's not upper and it's not down. It's not low, I mean. It's in the middle. Alright? So that's the way of pronunciation of this uh, word right. Yes? And I got another example before my partner K. 
keep going with this presentation. The other example is mine. Mine as a verb, mine as a noun. So what does it mean mine as a verb? That, that something is mine. Yes, you are mine. The pen is mine. So it's the same as before. It's the I sound. So as a verb, the I sound just just get more longer the pronunciation with two columns. Don't forget that. So mine. Yes? And as a noun is uh, the I sound, but it's shorter. Okay? So it's pronounced as, as a mine. What does it mean a mine? It's a place. It's, it's the place where you can dig. It's a dark place, you know. So I already showed you where is the vowel spaces in this case. You know, it's front uh, hike, right? And I got a tongue twister for you to practice a little the pronunciation of these, um, of these words. I including one more word that is harbor. You know, harbor has um, the verb and the noun. So the verb is that you harbor someone, you are harbor the criminal, and as, as a noun, as an adjective, is the place, like Pearl Harbor, okay? So, the tongue twister says, the mind harbor lives when mind is right, the harbor mind is right, and leaves a right harbor, then the leaves are right to harbor a mind in the right leaves. So, I'm going to show you. As you can see, the words that, that are completely underlined it means that they are the noun or the adjective. And the words that have just underlined the, the vowel, it means that is the verb, you know? So this mine is the noun and this harbor is the verb, okay? So I give you uh, more 10 seconds to read this and practice in your homes uh, or wherever you are. Okay, so uh, next I'm going to introduce my partner, uh, her name is Angela, so I hope you enjoy my presentation, now it's her turn. Okay, I continue with the explication, I have another example, for example, book is a verb and a noun, have uh, two meanings, a book as a verb is like a book, uh, I book at the restaurant and uh, unlike a uh, uh, a noun is I have a new book. Uh, can you see the the book of the bear is more lo is longer than the than the other and other example is wash. Like the object that you use in your hand, wash is normal, the, the sound is simple, and the where I wash TV is more is longer. Uh, for example, in subject, it uh, has two meaning, yes, uh, the verb and the noun. Uh, can you see in the noun, uh, the the phonemes are different, like you see the A sound and in the verb I don't have the I and in the noun the I is the, the, the I is in, in capital letter and this means that is a short sound, like a subject, and in the verb subject, but more is longer, like I, uh, I subject to my homework, and a mathematics subject, and a, okay, I can see in this part, in subject the I, is located in front center that you see the colon that in this case it uh, could be the 
Dever is is higher than the i in capital letter that is the noun. Okay, and I and other example is control to meaning the same. A uh, one is the object I uh, was a uh, the control when the that you using your television and the control to take control of a uh, of yourself and okay I I continue with a uh, a tongue twister and say. I book in the library a book and now I have a book sign half past eleven I immediately I washed my wash I subject to read the book and I control the time that I read. I see the different example that I showed show before. A light book, a subject, another words, like in half and half, a, the pronunciation of half is longer because the V sound, because its voice and the F sound in half is an unvoiced sound. And I thank you for your attention. I I hope you uh, understand this. Yes, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we we got a lot of effort on this, so I hope it, it worked for you and for the class and for other people too. If you want to share, do it. And if you want to write some comments or give us some advice to improve uh, this presentation, feel free to do it. So I think that's all. Uh, God bless you. See ya.